Hey, how's it going, everyone? I hope you're all keeping well here with a video today because the news that has been coming out of the club uh, so far today and it's been broken all over Sky and all over the other media platforms as well. So there is three uh, parts I'm going to cover on this video uh, today. Two of them are signings, incomings at the club, and the other one, it looks like a snake is finally going to be shown that exit door at this football club. So. Let's get into it. So the first bit of news I'm going to cover, and that is Lewis Hall. He has signed a permanent contract at this football club. Hasn't said how long the contract is for yet. I presume it's going to be five years. It didn't see anything at first when I first read that, um, when I heard that uh, Lewis Hall signed permanently. But to get this lad permanently, permanently sorry, is absolutely fantastic. Look how much talent this lad has. He showed it last season, and I cannot wait to see this lad in action again uh, next season as well. And he will get more game times. That's the disappointment we didn't see from him last season, was he didn't get an awful lot of games. Well, finally, we can see that now happening for next season. And surely he's got to be a regular starter because Matt Target's fallen out of favour. Dan Burn should not be playing at left back anymore and Paul Dummett's uh, left the club now so it makes sense why we've got this lad permanently I think he wouldn't have got the games if he stayed at Chelsea and I'm sure we will definitely be given that more game time for next season um, as well look how well he did when he stepped in and there's everyone is really excited to see the lad in action again cannot cannot wait He's delighted himself. He signed the contract permanently. He wanted to stay at the football club. And Eddie Howe is really looking forward to working with him again next season. Again, really, really positive uh, words from both Lewis Hall himself and, of course, Eddie Howe. Yeah, what a talent we are keeping at this football club. Brilliant, brilliant news. And everyone's just looking forward to see the guy in action again for next season. Cannot wait for the new season. It cannot come quick enough now. I can tell you that. It really, really can't. Yeah. That clock is ticking, Charlie. For the new season. Charlie, it cannot come quick enough now. Since a lot of us are pretty bored of the Euros now. So, yeah. So, again, one thing to say. And that is, welcome back to Newcastle United, Lewis Hall. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. This lad is staying on a permanent deal now, which is fantastic. Next bit of news I'm going to cover, and it's another signing, and it's another goalkeeper that's come through the door at the football club. I didn't think this one was true at first. Well, it is. How wrong was I? Yes, and that is John Ruddy. He has signed a one-year deal at the football club. Now, there is a lot of mixed opinions on this. There's definitely people saying they are willing to give him the chance. There's a lot of people thinking, mm, why are we bringing a goalkeeper like him in through the door? I'm willing to give the lad a chance. I really, really am. It'll be interesting to see when, which games he'll play. He'll probably definitely get pre-season, and he might get some of the cup games. You never, never know as well. But he adds Premier League experience to the side. He obviously has played in the Premier League, of course, when um, he was playing for Norwich City at the time. I'm giving the lad a chance. I really, really am. So it's like any other signing that comes through the door. You just want to give them that opportunity to see how they do. And you never know. They can certainly prove people wrong. He is 37 years of age, so he has had a long career ahead of him. It's only a one-year deal as well. So if this definitely doesn't work out, we will release him come the end of the season. Considering how old he is now, he's 37 years of, uh, years of age, as I mentioned. So he will definitely get released if it definitely doesn't work out uh, for next season. Because um, Karius is also gone. And we don't know what's happening with Martin Dubravki yet. Apparently, he wants out of the football club as well. But John Ruddy, I'll give him the chance. So this is what I'm going to say on about him. And that is welcome to the club, John Ruddy. Right. 
final bit of news. And it looks like a snake is finally going out of that exit door at Newcastle United Football Club. Dan Ashworth, finally, it looks like something has been agreed between us and Manchester United. And Dan Ashworth will come off his garden leave and he'll be off to Manchester United. Do you know what I'm going to say about Dan Ashworth? Good riddance to the guy. What an absolute snake he was. When we first came in at the football club, we were thinking, this is a good appointment. It really, really was We're, as a sporting director. Then we heard about the news that uh, Manchester United were in for him, and we're thinking, oh, we don't really want him to go. Until then, what was going on in the background with all the emails and all of that? And we f- just... F- found the true colours of the guy and finally he's going so yeah so to mr dan ashworth there's the exit door don't let the door hit you on your way out as well good riddance snake finally gone yes and hopefully it will also shut up that absolute idiot sir jim radcliffe as well Look at the way he was really, really complaining about us, about the whole gone and leave, why they, they would only pay so much up front. They weren't going to ask for what we asked for at first. Well, finally, something's been agreed now. And look, finally, we can look for that new director of football that is going to be successful and is going to be part of the project at this football club. So... Yeah, but finally Dan Ashworth is finally leaving. Yeah, we the guy was an absolute snake, and we're all glad he is now going to be out of this door at the football club as well. So that is it. So let me know down in the comments section how you are feeling that Lewis Hall is now a permanent signing at the football club. How do you feel about John Ruddy? He's only joining on a one-year deal uh, so far. And let us know as well about, finally, Dan Ashworth. It's out there you go, onto his next club. And, yeah, so let me know down in the comments section about uh, what's uh, been going on in today's news so far, uh, coming out of the club as well. And, of course, across all the other... uh, media platforms as well so thank you so much uh, for tuning in uh, to this video do keep an eye out in case uh, we do any other shows uh, during the week because so far our next one is uh, for Thursday uh, which is the England preview to the Switzerland game Uh, so do keep an eye out for that one uh, with myself and Mason Friday the crazy penis football live show will be back uh, this Friday Saturday is the game There'll be the live fan reaction as well, uh, after the game as well. Are England going to be progressing to the semi-finals, or are we just going to see absolute awful football again from Gareth Southgate, and England will crash out the tournament? We'll wait and see, I suppose. So, again, if you have enjoyed tonight, guy, uh, today's video, guys, please, of course, remember to do give us a thumbs up. It does uh, keep us up those uh, search results out on YouTube. Please, of course, if you are brand new to the channel, if you're not yet subscribed and you enjoy what goes on the channel week in, week out, hit that subscribe button. It is completely free to do so, and it does help make the channel grow as well. And again, of course, please do hit that uh, notification bell because that will let you know whenever we are live or if a pre-recorded video has been uploaded uh, to the channel as well. So that will notify you what is coming up on the channel week in, week out. Feel free to to give a donation uh, to the channel if you would like to do so. If you want to become a member, it is 99p a month. So hit that join button and you'll, of course, you'll be put into the prize draws we do on this channel um, as well. So again, thank you so much, guys, for watching. And um, I shall catch you all later. Take care, everyone. Again, let me know how you are feeling about what has been going on in today's news so far at the club. So, yes, again, welcome back to the tune, Lewis Hall, welcome to the tune, John Ruddy, and 
Good riddance, Dan Ashworth. See you later, guys. Have a great day.